Hello, I'm Kathy Wynn. I'm a BigFix technical advisor at HCL. Today I will be demonstrating how we can use BigFix to reboot servers in a sequential order. Uh, to do this, I'm going to use server automation, which is part of the BigFix lifecycle module. Uh, in short, server automation enables you to automate workflows by running automation tasks in a simple sequence or in parallel across multiple endpoints. Uh, with server automation, you can automate a sequence of fixlets, tasks, and baselines across different endpoints. Uh, once you get your automation plan set up, you can reuse it over and over again. Uh, without further ado, I will now jump into my BigFix console to show you how I would set up a reboot automation plan. Now, within the console, I'll click on server automation. Under automation plans, uh, although we have some out of the box automation plans here, um, such as cluster patching, uh, virtual machine builds, physical machine builds and so forth, um, I won't be using any of these. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new automation plan. Now, before I move further, um, I'm gonna bring up my handy dandy notepad. Um, that I have here. Basically, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Um, I have a reboot order of three servers. Um, I want the first server, the Hulk, to reboot first and come back up completely before the second server, Hawkeye, can reboot. Now, Spider-Man can't reboot until Hawkeye reboots and comes back up. So basically, I have a reboot order, and I have to make sure that each of these machines uh, reboot in this order. Um, so that is what I'm trying to demonstrate in this uh, particular uh, video. So now let me go ahead and minimize this and go back to this plan that I am creating. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename um, name this plan Reboot Servers in Order. Description, I, I'll just put something like test. I'll, I'll put this plan in the Windows team site. Since these are all Windows machines. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the steps tab. Here, basically I'll have three steps and those three steps are probably restart the first machine, restart the second machine, and restart the third machine. Um, and here you can see the plan type being sequential, and that's exactly uh, what I want it to be. Um, by default, it's set to sequential because I'm just pretty much uh, doing a simple straight sequence where each step is executed one at a time um, and one after another. Now, there's another option here for parallel if you need to execute steps uh, concurrently. But for this particular demonstration, I'm going to keep it as sequential. I'm going to go ahead and add a step. And I'm going to search for restart. Now, this is basically searching all fixlets and tasks for a, the name that contains restart. And I here is the task that I'm looking for, restart endpoint, pretty simple. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and add it. Now, once the first uh, step is added, I can actually click on this arrow and it should give me a summary, which is basically the relevance and the action uh, within this task. Uh, for my failure behavior, by default, it's going to stop the automatic, I'm sorry, it's going to stop the automation plan if this step fails. And that's what I want it to do. I don't want it to move further. I want it to completely stop. Now, there's another option. If you click on a drop down, you can continue the automation plan. Uh, but for this um, demonstration, I will leave it at stop the plan if this fails. And a little gearbox next to um, the action, which is going to be action one by default. Um, I can click on it, and this is where I put in the endpoint I would like to restart. Um, here, 
you can see that I have an option for computers or computer groups. So if I had a group of endpoints I wanted to um, set this task to, I can do groups as well. But for this case, I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of my computer. And I see it here, and I'm going to add it. There's additional execution settings that I can set, but I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay to that. I'll minimize this step and I'll add a, another step. And basically it's gonna be the, the same steps for all three, um, just because my demonstration is just to restart these endpoints. So I'm gonna go ahead and Type in restart endpoint so that I'll find that task. I'm going to go ahead and add the second task. And again, I'm going to click on the gear button. And just to go back to make sure, I'm going to Hawkeye a second. So here are some additional settings um, if I would like to just type in the computer name or a list of computers, I can click the second button. Uh, this third button shows up as long as there's more than one step. So I can actually use the same target as step, um, the first step that we see uh, in the list. Um, however, since it's not using the same target, I'm going to go ahead and click on the first step again and type in my computer name. And here's Hawkeye. I'm going to move it to select it and hit OK to that. And now I'm going to add my third step, which is also restart endpoint. Go ahead and add that. And I'll do the same. Now that I have all three steps to reboot the endpoints in the order um, I stated on my notepad, and each of these steps by default would stop the plan if the, if, if the steps fail um, and will not move further. Now, under the flow tab, you can, you can see the, the flow of the sequence or the sequential order that, um, that's happening in this plan. So since all three does say restart endpoint because we have endpoint one um, being restarted first and second one and a third one. Here, there's some additional settings um, such as execution settings, pending restart settings, or even notification settings. Um, I'm gonna leave this all alone and I'm gonna click save. And now I've successfully created an, an automation plan named reboot servers in order. So now here I'll see this plan listed and I can take action on it. Now here, if I click on take action, I'm gonna see the steps. Um, and if I click through the steps, the first step is to reboot the whole. Second step is to reboot Hawkeye, and third step is Spider-Man. Now, I can click on configure plan if I wanted to set a, a schedule a certain date and time to start this plan. Um, but since I want to start it immediately, I can actually just click OK. But if I clicked on configure plan, there are some settings here um, that I can set for the execution uh, start and stop time. And I can enable prefetching if there was any sort of downloads. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, which will start immediately. So now this plan has started. And I am going to go ahead and pause the video for the first reboot to run. Now you can see that the first uh, restart endpoint 
task has started and it's sitting at running. So now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again so that it would complete before restarting the video. So now you see that the first task is in a status of fix because the first machine has rebooted. You can click on details tab. I'm sorry, this little details um, icon here to show that the Hulk has completed its reboot. I'm gonna go ahead and click next, I'm sorry, back. And here you can see that the second endpoint is running uh, and in the process of being rebooted. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again until the whole, automat sorry, the whole automation plan completes.